What's going on everybody? It's just another day in the kitchen, back with another episode, and today we're taking a look at the insane Travis Scott Jack Boys era merch, including some crazy pieces like the car he's sitting on, a fire extinguisher, and much more. This video takes us back to 2019 when Cactus Jack dropped the Jack Boys album, which was seven songs and full of fire. Honestly, it was my introduction to Pop Smoke, so I just wanted to shout him out because he had a legendary video with that blue Bugatti. And let me know your favorite Pop Smoke song in the comments along with your favorite song off of Jack Boys. I think mine is a tie between Out West and What To Do. Now, when I said that this merch drop was insane, you're going to see exactly why in just a little bit. This dude has been known to be the king of merch, but as you'll see, there are a lot of crazy items that you probably didn't expect from the flame. And while you're here, you might as well go ahead and drop a like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at we don't cook food and let me know you came from YouTube and I'll definitely follow you back. Now, one thing I wanted to point out as we're going through this video is the fact that this website actually changed for this drop and it was jackboys.travisscott.com instead of his traditional shop.travisscott.com, which I think is pretty interesting. Now, I found this tweet back from 2019 where he was advertising this as the Blackjack collection and he let us know that Jack Boys was on the way. And when it comes to this merch and aesthetic, I personally think it's super hard. I feel like a lot of these pieces are inspired by like black metal or death metal, but especially with the font of some of these pieces like this Cactus Jack writing we'll see here in just a second. Now the next biggest thing I wanted to point out about this merch is the fact that all of it ships allegedly in 4-5 to five weeks. However, I do remember specifically waiting much longer to get a lot of my pieces, which at this point we all know is regular and standard for any kind of Travis Scott merch drop. And while you're here, let me know what you think about the aesthetic of this overall. And I also wanted to point out that this is just wave one of this Cactus Jack Jack Boys merch. So throughout the video, you'll end up seeing a whole nother range of stuff. And personally, I think there's a lot of dope pieces in here that are for everyone. Now, as you can see, there are some insane pieces like a scooter for $550 and a now classic Travis Scott Jack Boys era rug. And like I said, pretty much for every single album so far, except Utopia, there's been some kind of rug that's available for purchase. And we're going to take a look in just a little bit. Now, I did also want to point out that damn near every item of this drop comes with a digital purchase of the album as well, which was great back in the day because it definitely helped boost album sales but i don't think that travis scott has ever really needed it because he's only gotten better with every album just in my opinion speaking of the album i also wanted to point out that it was the first to go number one in 2020 so they had another hit on their hands now next up here in front of us we're taking a look at this beanie right here which i think is pretty dope and personally lacking from this last utopia drop as you can see, the price is pretty standard and consistent with most Travis Scott hats and beanies usually staying around that $40 to $45 range. Next up, we've got a robe, which is not the first time we've seen a Travis Scott merch robe, but personally, I think it's pretty dope and cozy. And to be honest, I feel like $120 for the robe isn't so bad, all things considered, even though this drop was back in 2019. I feel like similar pieces from other artists would probably range about the same, and I think we saw something similar when it came to ASAP Rocky's last album merch drop, so let me know in the comments if you would actually cop a robe like this. Now again, with all of the merch on here, it does come with the digital album, and as you can see, the shipping is allegedly 4-5 to five weeks, which again is kind of hard to believe. Now for one of my favorite and goofiest pieces from this drop, it's gotta be the electric scooter here for $550. Personally, I love whipping around on these things whenever I'm in downtown Orlando, and I think it would be a dope piece to own, but for $5.50, they were definitely tripping. And next up, we've got this now classic Cactus Jack rug. As we've seen in pretty much every single merch drop except Utopia, there is some kind of commemorative rug like this, and for $2.50, that's pretty consistent. And one thing I did want to point out is that the shipping time on this piece is upgraded a little bit in the sense that this is now taking 8 weeks to ship, as opposed to the other items we've seen so far taking 4-5 to five weeks. Now next up we've got this random Cactus Jack water bottle because you've got to stay hydrated at all times, so shout out to Travis for looking out for us. Now there's definitely nothing special about it beyond the Cactus Jack branding and for $45 I feel like that's kind of steep but I'm not really in the water bottle game like that so y'all let me know if that's a good price. Personally I do like the branding though and I feel like even if you don't use it it would be a kind of dope commemorative piece and I probably would have picked it up myself if it wasn't pushing 50 bucks. Now I did want to also point out just some other pieces from this first initial wave because I do think that they deserve their own attention. As you can see the king of merch La Flame kept it consistent with his earlier album drops with a rolling tray. 
Now, a lot of times we do see these types of pieces accompanied with some other great smoker related things like this lighter here, which of course is not my favorite, but I think it would be clean to just get like a black one with the Cactus Jack branding. And of course, to complete the trifecta, we've got the ashtray here, which is personally pretty hard. And again, I really enjoy this overall branding. Now, back in 2019, when I was recording this, I also wanted to point out some of my favorite tees and pieces from this drop, and it's pretty much stayed pretty consistent. Like I said, I do like the rock and metal influence pieces with that branding, and, and we honestly saw something similar with the Cactus Jack branding when it came to that release of the Travis Scott Zipper Air Force One. Now, I did want to also show off just one of these tees here to give you guys an idea of the quality. And they mentioned that all of these pieces have a screen printed front and a back graphic with gel detail. Now enough about this first wave, let's go ahead and hop into the second one, which might be my favorite. As you'll see throughout the second wave, the actual Cactus Jack Jack Boys merch definitely has some lighter tones to it, which I definitely appreciate. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, they actually auctioned off the BMW M3 that Cactus Jack is sitting on. And at the time, all you had to do to enter was enter your email address, but I don't think I ever even received any kind of a follow-up email. And I almost wonder if this was just kind of like a little scam at the time to collect everybody's email address to then put you on like a mailing list. Now, I did do research, and at the time, a $10,000 Craigslist fine turned into a $45,000 come-up. The people that sold this to Travis Scott then went on the record and said that they weren't happy with all the customization that was done to it. But personally, I think this classic is hard as hell, and let me know in the comments if you agree. Now, when it comes to these merch pieces for the Jack Boys album, the price increased from $95 from the first wave for a hoodie all the way up to $120. Here's a tweet from the day that this actually released, and as you can see, the gang was definitely lit. Here's a photo of Don Tolliver wearing the same hoodie and of course the Travis Scott Air Force One with the zipper that I mentioned earlier. Now personally I think it's always super important to have the artist or whoever wear their own merch because it shows that they actually like rocking it and the fans can relate. Now back in 2019 my favorite songs were What To Do and Out West and I think it's pretty cool how it stayed pretty consistent. Although Gotti is definitely hard as hell and rest in peace to my dude Pop Smoke again. Another thing I wanted to point out, of course, is that all of this merch for this wave is basically four to five week shipping except some pieces, and we'll see that here in just a second. Now this next piece here features a photo taken by an artist and photographer named Harmony Corinne, and I apologize if I butchered the name, but your boy did the best he could. I'll show you guys why that's important to Travis here in just a second, but I also wanted to show off some of the branding that we'll end up seeing. And to be honest, although the actual artwork and photograph on the merch is pretty small, it definitely reminds me of the same creative art direction as Supreme. And just so you can really understand the whole Jack Boys era and aesthetic, I wanted to show off some of these promotional photos that were taken of the album. As you can see, this BMW M3 is definitely a focal feature, and I honestly love the whole aesthetic and vibe. Now, when it comes to Harmony Corinne, I also wanted to mention that they produced or directed the film Spring Breakers, which was huge at the time, and also one of Travis's favorite videos, or movies rather, so I think that that connection is now a little bit more obvious. And these are just a couple more pieces that were co-produced by Harmony. Personally, I'm not in love with them, but I definitely appreciate what they were trying to do. And as always, you gotta love the Cactus Jack logo branding, as you guys can see here. Now, as we can see, even with the Harmony pieces, the shipping is pretty much the same. Something that's kind of refreshing when you really think about it is that the price of these hasn't really increased at all from $45. As we've seen in previous Travis Scott merch drops when he's had collaborations such as with Cause, it's definitely inflated the price understandably of course so again i think it's cool that the price of these tees in collaboration with harmony have stayed around the same price here's that same piece of merch basically that we saw earlier but in a white crew neck now i did want to point out a cool dickies collaboration that we did see and honestly this piece here sets the tone for the rest of this merch drop and aesthetic if you're not familiar with the brand Dickies, it's worn by everybody from skateboarders to mechanics. And as you'll see with these pieces, they definitely give off that whole auto mechanic vibe. Even from the crew here that has to do with the Jack Boys crew, I can see somebody working on that BMW wearing that same Dickies piece right there. Now this is a dope little hoodie that we have available, and I also wanted to of course show off some of these Cactus Jack designs that we saw specifically for this Jack Boys release. And to wrap up the second wave of merch, I just wanted to show off this dope Jack Boys album vinyl. 
Personally, I regret not picking it up, and although it's only seven songs, I think that this would be great for any Travis Scott collector, as well as just any fan to have in the collection. I think that that blue vinyl is actually really hard, and let me know in the comments if you agree. Now for the third and final wave that I actually found, and although I think there are some more pieces, I think that these are some pretty interesting ones. The merch stays consistently expensive when it comes to the novelty items, which we'll see here in just a second. I just wanted to highlight how dope some of these merch pieces are, and they show off the whole Jack Boys aesthetic, doing what they want, because it's the boys. Now we do see our first keychain in some time, and of course Travis Scott had to be the merch king that he is, and dropped these two different pairs of socks for $20 each. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, my dude LaFlame went crazy and dropped a damn fire extinguisher for $195. To go with the whole Cactus Jack and car mechanic theme, we also got this toolbox and also this like anti-theft thing that goes on your steering wheel to make sure that nobody can move the car. Personally, I think again, the aesthetic is pretty cool. And as always, I do appreciate a good novelty item. And while the auction for the 1988 BMW M3 was still available, I also wanted to point out that there were some new shirts that also dropped as well, along with some hats and some dope merch. Personally, like I said, I appreciate these lighter vibes. And as you can see, we got a dope keychain, a damn racing helmet that was unfortunately sold out, and just some more overall Jack Boys merch, which again has to do with the whole mechanic theme, which I think is centered around this BMW here. In case you missed it, there were also Cactus Jack air refresheners, which were great for the car. And honestly, the fire extinguisher does make sense to me, so you could put out the flames from when you listen to this album. Now, if you made it this far, I appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think about the video. Of course, let me know what your favorite song is off of Jack Boys. As always, free my boy Jeffrey, aka Young Thug. Now, as always, guys, thank you so much for cooking with the kitchen. Please stay safe out there. It's lit. Straight up. Peace.